Okay, you want to see a simple HHO generator? Uh, I tried to uh, make one out of that steamer and uh, it didn't do nothing. I had 18 plates and uh, I guess it wasn't stainless steel like they said. But anyways, what you do is you just get a glass or a jar or whatever, plastic or glass. And then you get you some simple washers. I've been playing with this one for a little while. Uh, make sure they're stainless steel. This one, I, I don't know, this might be... Uh, some kind of copper or something but uh, this one tarnished and this one didn't so what I did is I just got two and I put a wire hook to it and then I just set it down in there so it sits flat on the bottom of the jar and then I got a cup a lid uh, a venti black tea from Starbucks and I took the lid and uh, I cut a little notch in it right here so that this notch could fit where this wire is. So I put that one in there and I put the notch in right where I can get it. So it hooks to the wire. Okay. And then the inside of that lid there's an indention. I should show you that. There's an indention inside this lid that the next plate sits in and fits in there perfectly. See that? So I can uh, set the plate on top of the plate. Get that lined up in there. Push that down. And then set this one inside of there. Hook that there. Push this down. There. So I got them sitting on top of each other and the lid acts like a little gasket so they don't make actual contact then you get some uh, water with uh, baking soda in it and then you pour it in there clean up your mess and then you hook your leads to it or hook the positive to the one on the bottom because the negative actually makes the uh, hydrogen and hook the negative and turn on my power supply and you can see hydrogen being made it's very simple hydrogen and I'm sure if you uh, get another lid put it on top and then just keep going however many you want 10, 20, 30 plates even 60, I see one video is up to 60 plates depending on how much hydrogen you want to make and I have that hooked to my power supply I have it on the orange one if you want to make more uh, I was told you put it on the low voltage and it makes less bubbles but if you want to see what it looks like with the 12 volt connection there, you can see it bubbling pretty good uh, like I said I tried the steamer plate and I took it apart and tried to make it and it didn't do anything so, I don't know what kind of metal that those uh, washers are, but I was just tinkering around with it last night, and then I saw that it fits perfectly into the lid. You can see the bubbling there. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but you can see the hydrogen. I got a fan blowing right now. You can see the hydrogen just blowing everywhere. Turn off my fan. Let's see if we can see it better there. I can see going over the lip. But that's how simple that, that one was made. If you want to see the best hydro HHO generator on the YouTube, uh, I found the best one ever. And you can even, uh, they have a website you can go to and buy it. It costs about $1,500. It is the perfect torch. Uh, you can you know, search them on YouTube. Their name is uh, All HHO. Uh, it looks like this. Their screen name. All HHO. And they have the best little torch that you can get. Not only do they have a torch, they have uh, a generator to run your car and. Uh, they even have one to actually run the diesel semi truck. But that is the best one I've found on YouTube. There's no backflash or anything. 
and uh, you can continue to try making them on your own or you can go to their website and if you look up uh, all HHO and uh, subscribe to their channel you can see that they, they have four videos different videos to show you their different products that they have but that's so far that's the best one I found on the market and it looks really nice too it's portable anyways back to this one it's uh, as you can see let me switch it back to the let me hook it to the purple wire on my power supply here purple wire is very low voltage um, you can't, can't really see anything being made I see very little bitty bitty bubbles being made but uh, uh, I just talked to this guy on YouTube his name is uh, HHO uh, for volts and uh, he said that the lower voltage will produce the more hydrogen and less oxygen so you know that's the lowest I think that's three volts, that purple one. It's making it. If you can see right down here the stainless steel wire that I have there. It's, it's making it. It doesn't bubble as high as uh, 12 volts. Anyways, this is uh, my latest. Uh, I think this is like the fifth or sixth one I've made. Uh, but still playing around with them.